Oh, good evening YouTube. It's Laney50 here once again. Um, hey, I was asked by one of my subscribers to do a tutorial on astrophotography. So we're going to do one. Um, we're basically going to do, uh, or I'm going to talk a little bit about basic astrophotography and kind of what you need to get involved and get started. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about my equipment and things like that. How to actually take pictures of the night sky through a telescope or even if you don't have one, a telescope, you technically do not need one. Um, anyway, in front of me, uh, we have a Mead LX10 Schmidt Cassegrain telescope. It's an 8-inch uh, scope. Also next to me, I have my Minolta SRC, SRTSC, probably from the 70s, uh, mid-70s, early 70s, um, camera with a removable lens. Uh, that's important. Uh, have it mounted on a basic tripod uh, because really to get started in astrophotography technically that's all you need. Um, you can get by with a simple camera on a telescope with a shutter release cable hooked up to your shutter button and really that's it. You can simply take your camera, aim it up at the sky and uh, start taking pictures. <coughs> um, now the shutter release cable is kind of important to have for the simple reason that Whenever you walk around a tripod, <coughs> you're going to get vibration. Uh, the cable release is going to be great because you can stand a few feet away from your camera, snap the shutter release cable, keep the shutter open as long as you like. That's something else that's important, keeping the shutter open. Uh, and then simply releasing your thumb and you're done with the photograph. Uh, now what would you want to do, or hey, how could I do that with just a camera? Well, simple. Aim your camera up into the sky. Let's say you have you know, Orion or the Big Dipper or something is up there that you wanted to photograph, you aim it up at the sky, get your shutter release, keep it open for 10, 15 seconds, maybe 5 seconds, release it, yeah, you got yourself a photograph. Simple as that. Basic astrophotography. You can keep it open, uh, keep your shutter open a lot longer, maybe 30 seconds, a minute, maybe 4 minutes or 5 minutes, and you will start to develop on your film star trails. A really cool um, effect that you can get just by filming the stars at night just by keeping your shutter open. So that's number one. Um, number two is let's say if you do have a telescope and let's say you do have something like this here <coughs> you'll notice that you have a star diagonal and you have your eyepiece. Eyepiece would normally pop out if you need it to or to change your eyepiece. Now the star diagonal will come off there's simply a collar here that just unscrews and you can take that off. That will get you ready to do something called prime focus astrophotography. This basically means is you're taking your camera, you're removing the lens, hooking it directly up to your telescope, and your telescope is basically a huge telephoto lens. Uh, it's very simple and you only need really two things to do this. You need a T-ring <coughs> which is this piece right here. It's a simple little metal ring, uh, probably made out of aluminum, that takes the place of your camera lens. You pop your camera lens off and you simply push and turn and this will lock into your camera. Now a T-ring is different for every camera, so just keep that in mind. You have to buy a model specific T-ring. Then you have your T-ring adapter. Uh, very simple, it's just a tube with a collar on it collar pops right off, you have two pieces. The collar is threaded just like the top piece of your uh, tube here. In order to do this, it's very simple. You take off your diagonal and you're going to remove your camera lens. Okay, that's very simple. You're going to take your T-ring adapter, the tube and the threaded collar goes here. Okay, again, very simple. Now, before you remove the camera lens, I always advise people to take your T-ring and mount that first. So just screw that into place. Now there is a little red dot at the top and you're going to want to line that up with the red dot on the top of your camera. Um, so now that's lined up. Now you would simply remove your camera and push your camera now onto here. It's that simple. That is 
basically one of the easiest methods of astrophotography with a telescope. <coughs> and again, that's called prime focus astrophotography. Uh, and again, use your cable, shutter release cable, uh, to do this because any bit of vibration just from walking around the telescope, even if you're on blacktop, it's not going to matter. You take a shot and if you're walking around that telescope, you're going to ruin that shot. So you always want to wait a few seconds before you take the photo, stand as far away from possible while holding your cable release, and then uh, using your cable release, as you're standing away from the, uh, from the telescope, and then take your shot. After you're done, you release the cable, and then you, it's safe to walk around your telescope again. <coughs> the other way to do astrophotography, which is, I think, the simplest, and I actually get some pretty good results by doing this, is called a focal technique. Um, that simply means you just take all this off. There's no need for the T-ring or the adapter. You're going to put your star diagonal back on your telescope and you're going to keep the eyepiece in as well. And so it's just like you're going to sit and look at the stars again through your telescope. Eyepiece stays in place. Now you can take, I recommend digital camera to do this. You can simply take your digital camera, uh, I recommend not using a tripod for this, but you can simply take your digital camera and put it right over the eyepiece and simply take some shots. Um, just make sure you get it in focus and the proper distance from your eyepiece because that will make a difference. Now, once you're focused and lined up and you get a good picture, a sight picture in your camera, snap away. Um, again, that's called a focal. Um, that technique is the easiest and I always use a digital camera to do this technique. Um, and the camera that I actually use to do it is the camera that I'm using now to do the filming of this particular video, which is a Nikon S600 um, simple point-and-shoot camera. Uh, it's a 10 megapixel, and I can yield really good results just by using that camera alone. Um, and simply pointing the camera lens right over the eyepiece here and snapping away you can see what you're looking at on the LCD screen on the back of the camera so technically you don't need to look into the eyepiece you just need to have the lens pointed right into the eyepiece see it's simple couldn't be any simpler so those are two basic techniques now what I will tell you is just to start with if you're just starting in this field uh, or starting in the realm and you're just diving into this kind of uh, area here you want to do easy stuff first, meaning that you want to look at stuff at the night sky like the moon. It's the easiest thing to film because it's the biggest and the brightest object in the night sky. Um, and you can simply use your uh, finder scope or your red dot sight um, to find what it is you're looking for if you want to do other things. But the moon is the easiest. Um, now as you can see on my scope here, I actually have a counterweight which the counterweight is actually needed when you have your prime focus set up on your telescope because the camera gets pretty heavy and it's going to want to you know make the camera tilt up so in order to counteract that I actually built my own uh, counterweight system with some heavy washers so I can actually adjust this to wherever it is that I need maybe a little bit more weight or to balance it better when the camera is on the telescope. Um, so in any event, that's kind of you know that's kind of easy, right? It's um, it's basic. You know, it's not complicated to get started in the field, like most people might think. Um, the amount of equipment that you need is just limited by how far you want to take the hobby. Uh, you hone your skills with the easier stuff first, like the moon, and then as your skills improve, move up to other techniques and different objects in the sky start simple the hobby can get really expensive so uh, just wanted to say thanks for tuning in any questions or comments uh, just leave me some and I'll try to take care of them peace out